Hi there, I'm David, and I'll be showing you how to set up Vive. In this video, we'll be covering the following. Picking your play area, installing the Vive and Steam software on your computer, setting up the Vive system, and lastly, room setup. To set up the Vive, you're also gonna need a stepladder or sturdy chair and extension cords. Okay, so first, picking your play area. VR can be explored seated, standing, or moving around in the space. Vive was designed for room scale, yet it can accommodate most spaces. The important thing is to choose a place that works best for you. Here are a few ways you could configure your play area. Again, it needs to work for you and the space you have available. Also, you'll need to consider the mounting and placement of the base stations in your play area. We recommend that they be mounted to your walls using the included brackets and placed in opposite corners. The combined field of view needs to cover your entire play area, so we recommend that they're placed no further than 16.4 feet or five meters apart. If mounting isn't an option, you can use a stable and sturdy tripod, or you can clamp them to bookshelves as an alternative. Next, you're gonna wanna clear the space of any furniture or other objects, including pets, that could get in the way of your VR experience. Then, position the computer just outside the play area. When you open the box, you should see the Getting Started document inside. It gives you a brief overview of what to do, as well as a list of items included in the box. Now on your web browser, go to htcvive.com setup to download the Vive setup software. Follow the steps on screen to download the Vive and Steam software. This will take a few moments. Now we're gonna mount the Vive base stations. Take out the two base stations and power adapters and mounting brackets. Base stations should be mounted high above your head for accurate tracking. A minimum of six and a half feet is recommended. Position them in opposite corners of your space. Secure one bracket at one corner of the play area. After securing the first wall mount, secure the other bracket at the opposite corner. Secure the base stations to the mounting brackets. Do not screw the base station all the way in, only enough to be stable and oriented correctly. Then, tighten the wing nut to the base station to secure it in place. Loosen the clamp. Angle the base stations around 30 to 45 degrees down to point towards your play area. Make sure it has an unobstructed view of the other base station. Fix the angle of the base station by tightening the cap back in. Connect the power cable to the base stations and remove the protective films. Plug in the power adapters to a power source. The base stations automatically turn on and you should see the status light as green. You should also see two different letters, B and C, showing on their channel indicators. If B and C are not showing, press the channel button at the back of the base station to change the channel. If your room makes it impossible for the bases to see each other and the status light is purple, use the included sync cable to connect the two base stations. Then, set the base station that is labeled C to A by pressing the channel button at the back of the base station. Let's set up the Vive headset. We'll take out the headset, the link box, the link box power adapter, the USB cable, and the HDMI cable. Get the link box and its power adapter. Plug the power adapter into an outlet and then into the link box. Connect the USB cable to the PC side of the link box. Then connect the other end to your computer's USB port. Connect the HDMI cable on the PC side of the link box. Then connect the other end to the HDMI port of your computer's graphics card. 
Now take the headset and remove the protective film from the headset lenses. Also, keep the sensors away from any sharp objects. When you're not using the headset, be sure to store it with the lens pointed away from direct sunlight to avoid damage. If you need to clean the lenses, only use the cleaning cloth that came included in the box. Then carefully unwind the three-in-one cable. When handling the headset, be sure not to scratch or bump the surface. Connect the ends of the headset cable to the orange colored ports on the link box. Let's set up the Vive controllers. Turn on each controller by pressing the system button. The controllers are sufficiently charged out of the box, but if they don't power on, charge them using the controller's power adapter. It's time to define the boundaries of your play area using the Steam VR's setup. Click Launch Steam VR and check the tracking status of the Vive. You should see the Steam VR status widget on screen. You should see the icons for the controllers and base stations are green. Then, follow the instructions on screen to set up your play area. If you've selected a small play area or want to just play standing or seated, choose standing only. Otherwise, select room scale. Make sure your play area is cleared. You want to double check that the headset and controllers are still being tracked. This step will help you define your play area. So grab a controller, point it at the monitor, and press the trigger. Now we need to let the system know where the ground is. Place the controllers on the ground, and then click Calibrate Floor. You can watch the animation to give you a hint, but we will be basically tracing along the perimeter of your cleared play area. Don't trace over any furniture or obstacles as they can get in the way during play. Now you're done defining the play area boundaries using room setup. Okay, that's it. You're ready to enjoy VR. Connect the earbuds or your own headphones to the Vive headset for the best VR experience, it's recommended that you face away from your computer with the cables behind you. Have fun and see you when you get back.